Hello, this is Far Horizon. Welcome to Let's Play Ogre Battle Hard Type, Stage 11A. And I'm using 11A because I lost the first uh, attempt at 11, but it's still seen 11 based on the game. I haven't beaten a stage, so the number cannot increment until I'm victorious. So, this time I'm going to be getting Ronnie. Uh, I'm not going to rush to get her. I need to get a tiny bit more alignment, or I'm sorry, reputation before I can get her. Uh, so I'm gonna have to go get a city or two, and then I don't want to hold the temple she's in, and whatever's probably probably this city here. Um, I'll probably I'll probably liberate this and hold that. So I don't want to have to hold two places. Which make it harder. Now, when, once Zom changes the game for 1.05 to give us bonuses for holding more cities, then then I might consider holding more cities. But for now, uh, for the most part, there's not a huge incentive to do it, unless you need to get you know somebody during the stage that's really good. But I don't I don't really need Ronnie. Uh, it, it would be nice, but I think I'll do just fine, and I can still get her right at the end. And, have her fight the boss if I feel like it, or, or not. I mean, she's level 14, I believe, so... She's a little over-leveled for the enemies here. I think they're gonna be 12-ish. Not that it really matters. My forces are pretty built up after the losing effort last stage, uh, but since the enemies was, like, level 17 and level 18, it gave me a lot of experience. A lot. And there's a fire giant. I'm probably not going to use the fire giant all that much. Uh, but this stage, it's desert, so why not? Uh, yeah, we'll see how well that works moving in the shallows. The AI is not all that great. Okay, I forgot to move my hero. And even though this is a desert stage, there's a lot of other terrain. It's not like the... I think it's the... Dalma Desert uh, later that is really kind of unforgiving in terms of the whole, almost the whole thing being desert. Whereas here, if you want to fight in the plains, you can. You want to fight in the mountains, you can. You want to fight in the water, you can. Assuming where are they going? Well, maybe it's actually faster to go all the way around in the plains. I'm not sure. I believe that. Yeah, I guess. I guess so. Uh, I don't think I need another dragon. So next stage, I will get another Lich, uh, Saradin. So I don't know if I'm going to... Well, I'll probably, I'll probably deploy all three of the Liches. Or the Liches. No real reason not to, they're pretty awesome. And then if I keep going down the uh, golf ending, I'll eventually get a ridiculous number of Liches, so I might hold off on turning in... Um, I forget if it's Book of the Dead, or I think it's the Sentual Demons that I can either get a, a Drago Stone for, or an Undead Staff. So I'll probably hold off on turning those in. See if I find enough without uh, needing to do that, and I can, can get some bonus Dragos. Although I already have uh, five Dragoners, and one more Dragon Nurse Stone that I'm considering putting Ronnie into. I don't. I mean, Dragoner and Dragon Master just get such awesome levels that it's really tempting. Okay, not a bad card. Can't complain. And I think that will put my rep up enough to get Ronnie. It looks like, yeah, I went up one little thing, so it should be at two-thirds now. Yes, don't we all wish there were more Paladins around? Well, I don't know. Let's see who's coming. 12, 13. Alright. So this should be a lot easier. We're gonna do all physical damage. It is a master. Um... I mean, these guys can take, take physical damage. I think they probably should still stay finishing. Um... They're pretty high level. I don't know. Sure. 
Have them go first. And then we'll just kind of pull the Canopus around. Oops. Get ready to cut them off. And the, the shallowest unit is actually not doing too bad. It's, it's mostly coming through the water. Oh, they're running away. Interesting. Again, physical damage for the most part. I think Petrify's black, which the ledge will also be fine at. It's tempting to just go get Ronnie. Don't need to. I want Warren to hit first, might as well just move him in there. I went with the Brunhild sword and the bully sacks up front. Uh, mix of uh, that's no good. Anti physical, anti black, uh, anti fire on back row. Just get some good damage there. Ouch. Alright, so nobody will die with that heal, and then I should come back to strong, but I guess it doesn't really matter now. So, didn't get anybody taken down, but they're pretty severely weakened. Alright, pretty much the same setup for this fight. The biggest difference is I put the demon ring uh, on the non leader Nixie, because I think they're on leader, yeah. So, she's the one you need to protect. So, at least she won't get petrified more than once. Uh, and... I guess, uh... I should go back to strong, but oh well, now they're out of attacks now. And giving, uh, the fire sword to the guy on the lower left was probably a mistake. I should've swapped that around. to see if they continue on or not. Probably I should go heal with Warren. And probably with this unit too. So probably can't catch them, but you never know. Should have just gone earlier. And I can certainly catch them before they heal. Alright, so they revived the cockatrice in front, but the other guys haven't had a chance to heal at all. So, still ought to do pretty well here, and I get a ton of hit all, so that's nice. Certainly to go before one of their guys. Ah, oh, really, really petrified my leader. That is actually a pretty decent com or, uh, counter for vampires. I guess they certainly can't self-heal if they're petrified, but they still don't take too much damage from it. And unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to have a lot of success in catching them, but we'll see. I should get one fight out of it, and then I'll have to face these guys, who the vampire probably isn't going to have that much success against. But I guess we'll get a chance to see. Wow, they're faster than I thought. Maybe I just picked the wrong angle or something. We're supposed to both be high sky. Alright, I'm gonna have to give a shield. Some sort, maybe something anti-black. It's only six black. That's probably He already has ridiculous black. Defense? Alright. Let's see how the enemy 
supposed to, and I guess I should have realized I would probably go first. This is also a pretty good assassination unit. Um, kind of a shame I can't actually hit the mage. He would be dead too. Uh, I guess all I have left is physical attacks. And they don't seem to really be hurting him all that much. But I do want to get some more damage back, so... Maybe if I do best, I'll life suck the wizard. There we go. So, when trying to chase one leaderless unit, I have created a second leaderless unit. But, I'm really liking this combo. I mean, sure, it's, it's only awesome at night, but it's going to be okay in the day. And this is going to be mostly physical damage. But, I think I can deal with it. Well, that's a lot more damage than I thought I'd take, especially given that I have some sort of defensive item that's anti-physical. But even if I do win it, I am in no shape to go after the cockatrice, who will kill me with targeted attacks, so that really was pretty pointless, besides getting some XP, I guess. And he's gonna go heal, I guess they did destroy him pretty good. Alright, some dragons. This unit actually should be fine against them, fine against them. Let's just go after them. We might have to leave them up here a little bit. I hope they're not just like gonna go right by me. That would be unfortunate. And nobody seems to be down here, which is even more unfortunate given that it's going to be a real pain to get these mountain guys up here. Maybe I'll leave one of them down there. Although the town is closer to this side, so it might not be the optimal place to leave people. Alright, now let's just send her back at a lazy angle there and make sure nobody's kind of snuck around. Alright, depending on their tactics, I should take zero damage or just a little bit of fire damage. I don't have an awesome anti-fire item, but I do have the Mystic Helm, which is fire and ice, so it's like plus, I think it's like plus 11 uh, versus fire, which is more than good enough. And actually, I forget, because it's not in the ultimate form, it actually can't hit the back row anyway. I'm not 100% certain, but it certainly doesn't seem to be trying to hit her, so that's all that matters. And that is kind of an unfortunate bounce. I perhaps should have thought about that positioning before. I'm curious to see if they revived. Yep. <laughs> Maybe I will let the undead work on the things that undead actually work on. That won't be everybody. Okay, they were on week two, which works out for me. And I 
still might get the wizard or the mage rather. No. Well, I should get him. So he doesn't have a chance for next fight. Although, eh, this is not a fast unit. I can, I should be able to catch them. Even if I don't catch them with this unit, Kanapis should be able to deal with them. It would certainly be nice to fight them with this unit since it take, well, it won't take any more damage after getting rid of the, the mage. And of course the difficulty here is got somebody kills coming up. Let's see what we can do. Cold damage, so. Although, actually, that's not true. I do have the Euro Sword on the bottom of my skeleton. I put, I think, the Death Sword, or the Death Claws, on the other skeleton. Most of us, I don't really use those that much, and they have, uh. uh it's probably. There might actually be a different element that would be better against red dragons than, than black. It would be nice to find a second fire sword, but certainly not essential. Yeah, that's one problem with having shallow move. Well, certainly get a lot of experience for that unit. Nope, it didn't uh, revive. Interesting. I wonder if they have a limit on the number of times they revive people or something. Black certainly is working out for killing the dragon. Okay. Can't fight them. I think. Yeah, can't fight either of those. So, might as well come here. And I still don't know what happened to the dull mage unit. I'm a little worried about that. Uh, I'll wait a little longer on that unit, I guess. Got a bunch of healthy units, so no reason to rush them back out. So yeah, I'm just a little worried that the the dull mage unit that was kind of flying around oddly might have gone for my home base. Alright, let's do a little bit of cleanup work here. I know they're on weak. So I went ahead and uh, put the black cape on Canopus. And if they can even hit him, he ought to have pretty good defense there with... Uh... Okay... I thought they were on weak. I thought they, they went after the uh, skeleton. Oh well. Guess I was wrong. going around that way too. I'm really getting worried that this one's about to take my home base. So I've lost track of that doll master unit. And I guess with just one guy left, I could have put like the Brunhild on Canopus and had him do a little more damage than Thunder, but I, don't, I think Thunder is their second weakest element, so... Not too shabby. Hmm. See, I don't, I don't see that that doll master unit anyway. I thought maybe they were just so far up that I couldn't see them. But I don't see them at all. So what I'm gonna do is send this unit straight for my base. And the ninja unit is going straight by. I have to send another. Flyer, you're not a flyer. You're a flyer. That should pretty much obliterate the ninjas. And I might have to use a bell a little bit here if I don't see them. I think they'll do better in the desert than on the plains. The 
good news is that they'll, if they are trying to take my base by going around top like that, at least they'll have to cross over the water again, so that might give me enough time to get my flying unit down there. I guess I can always use the boots, but I don't know, I would think I would see them if they were there. My unit is close enough that I'd see them, so now I've totally lost track of that unit, I have no idea where it is. So I just forgot I killed it or something. That, that doesn't make any sense to me. Alright, let's see if we can take out the master unit. So we've got Ninja Master, two Beast Masters, and then Angels, which actually will do pretty decent damage if they're on the right strategy. Nope, not on the right strategy. At least not to maximize damage. Alright, so I should have to switch to weak. Ouch! Guess they are in the right strategy to knock the hell out of that dude. Um. Hmm. I guess the ninja master is already gone. They're gonna have. Uh, I think I'm actually just gonna run away. That's unfortunate. Although maybe maybe I should have thought. My witch would go before they would go, but I suppose the Nixie unit can take care of them. And got these units. I think they were on weak. No, they're on leader. So not necessarily the best units. For them to run into. Yeah, I definitely should bring these guys out because they're going to have to... Or at least the vampire. I don't know, the, the vampire is strong enough during the day that he could, he could do it. Alright, just before he has to jump him back in his coffin. I don't know if this will necessarily go any better than before. I might just get... Oh, did not get petrified at least. But they really just can't do that much damage to him. Before, oh, the ice storms went off anyway. But now I think I'll leave it on strong because I don't want to kill the leader, and I guess it won't matter. Because I don't get to attack again. And unfortunately, that probably damages him enough that he's gonna have to heal, and then he won't be able to fight, at least not actually do any damage. Let's see if we can get these guys involved. So, I don't know where the other unit went. Maybe I'm smoking something. I'm trying to send this unit up here to take care of the ninjas. And it can certainly... it has vision of the base, so... If the other unit is lurking around there somewhere, eventually I'll see it. Alright, so who do I want to fight here? Not really them. I don't know if I really want them to fight either, but I guess that's who I got. I just have to beat them once, and then they'll knock them back into this mountain unit. Alright, hopefully we'll be able to move the mountain unit up enough to catch them after I destroy them here. Yeah, I probably should have put it on strong or something. Just to damage someone else. You can also run away. That'll help uh, me take less damage and give me more time to have the mountain troops uh, come up and attack. And yeah, they can probably finish them, I would think, if they can get there. Alright. Right get some f fire giant action here. Haven't ever used him before in a real stage. Uh, well, it's alright, I guess. I think you should probably do the least amount of damage anyway. Um, that's perhaps a little bit unfortunate. Uh, just put on strong. Don't think, yeah, I should quite be able to kill him. But certainly, I probably should have prioritized the cockatrice up front. 
since it gets to go multiple times. Uh, but uh, there doesn't seem to be anyone else coming. On the bottom, anyway. So, what do we got over here? Angels and demons. Reminds some book title or something. Not that I'm a Dan Brown fan, not, not at all. Really, I'm a Dan Brown fan. And they're just gonna stop and then come right on. I put anti white, anti black to complement the natural defenses, and then put the Euro Sword on the Golem, hoping he can survive a couple of hits. Uh, even though he seems to be pretty weak to white, it's a strength based attack, and angels just have no strength. So. Youch! Well, at least they seem to be spreading the damage out some. And they all only have two attacks. I guess I only have two attacks, uh, except for the goal. Alright, one down. Probably get me a level. And you can definitely do that fight again. I should kill a couple of them next time. Then I go ahead and bring this unit up. So I just have the ninjas back there to worry about. I still don't know where the other unit went. I'm just hoping that I'm not going crazy and that it's going to show up at some point. Yeah, Muse has not really that much intelligence. Um, I think I brought her up as a cleric, and she may not necessarily have been one of my starting characters. Whoa! Did, I guess... So, that's one of the problems with golems. And she had the protect ring, too. So, that sucks. Um, one of the problems with golems is even if they don't need the heal, sometimes they get the heal because their HP can go low so easily, and then something like that happens. Oh well, I guess she's level 15 and doesn't really need XP. And we can certainly toss, I don't know, a witch or a mage or... Okay, used all five of my Nixies. So, uh, we got somebody we can, we can toss in the back row. sword up front again. So there, pretty much everybody here can be damaged pretty nicely by white, and we gave uh, Brunhild's sword to the Raven Man. Uh, there's probably a different element that would be slightly better, but I'm not 100% sure. And it won't really matter if we just destroy them with Ice Storm due to Nixie's being awesome. And all those guys are pretty weak to hold, I think. Angels are definitely weaker to black and maybe something else as well. But cold does enough damage to them, certainly. Alright, so I hope the mystery unit is not back there. I certainly can't see it. I don't know. Being nervous again, I'm gonna go... Let's see, I can look back here, I guess. I don't, I don't know where it would be. I really should just go watch the earlier videos for this stage or something to see if I can find it. I do not need anything. Probably should just bring them together so I have an easier choice of which one to engage the enemy with. And somewhere here, I should have my undead. And let's just, since she's a water creature, put her in the river here. And we got witch and werewolf and mage. Probably all deal with that. Certainly the undead could as well, but it's not really going to help against the back line. So I need to lower this red dragon's alignment a little bit. Uh, he's at like 62, I think. So 
I don't know that... I mean, he's level 11, so I really need to raise him up and then lower his alignment. And, uh, you know, Ash and the Red Dragon make a pretty good pair there, both uh, quite red. It'd be kind of amusing if, I guess, he uh, could turn into a Red Dragoner, but I guess now that it's a female-only class, not so much. Um, but yeah, definitely need to work on him some as well, because the, the idea was to make Lands and Ash both into ninjas. Because I think I think ninjas have a lot of potential, they just don't have much HP, and then of course special characters have a ton of HP. And I can do that again. I guess if I was trying to be a little more strategic about this, I would have started with the pumpkin heads instead of having them come in second. So at least I guess I'll get a full pumpkin against the back line. Uh, these guys are not at all weak to black, so it's a pretty good defensive matchup. And then of course I put uh, shields on the pumpkin head since they don't benefit from offensive stats. Uh, which is, is really nice for them versus physical attacks. And we're almost at the point, I guess if I really wanted to, I could have targeted the uh, pumpkins on wheat to get a kill with one damage. I think they can do that. A little amusing. And they're hurt. I guess I should send them back. And typically I was negligent and did not kill the right people, so they're going to go back to base. Although, they're not that fast, so I can just race them there and deal with it. Alright, so we got me, Cleric, Snow, Cleric, 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 Drat. So I'm not going to be able to... just zerg them with Undead. Who else here? Good enough. Send them over in the desert. Alright, nobody's hiding up here. I don't know where they went. I, I think I must have just killed them or they went back and healed. And I just didn't realize they went back and healed. But still, where? Where did they go? I guess I was pulling some people back, so I may attempt to lost sight of them. There were two of those doll mage or doll master units, so this may actually be the original unit that I was hunting for. They're being rather annoying going around like that. Those two boats do need to go back. attack. Yeah, I'm with you. I just have to be careful if I kill off one of the units above. But I really would like to give them more reinforcements, but there's not much of people to send. I guess, actually, I should go ahead and send the flying vampire. So by the time he gets there, it'll probably be night. versus witch, and then I'm a little bit ahead, so I got a lich versus a mage. Because I think that's a mage. I don't think they have any sorcerers just yet. Oh, I forgot how much it really has. So definitely they're not doing any black damage. I just don't have much weakness against black. And then I gave... And I probably should have put it on leader uh, for the charm. But I gave a black charm to the cleric. Uh, and the Wow, man, it's just getting freaking obliterated. Um, well, at least Denim got a bunch of kills. I think that should give her some substantial alignment, yeah. 
Um, okay, I have to really watch the wild man here because he got freaking obliterated by magic. Okay, that's no good. You would think acid would not do that much damage to him. Have the, well, I guess it's fizz resistance, but it's int base, not strength base. And that guy, if you want to look at him, I mean, <laughs> his his int is almost half his strength. I mean, that's yeah, it's with an item on there, but uh, yeah, they starting um, wild men just have no ends, and then they get one per level. And of course, they're gonna go heal. And then the other unit is going with it, even though it's... Wow. Alright, I don't think there's anybody back here. I think I'm just crazy. And they double back around. And in fact, this uh, double set of doll masters is, is the original one plus a new one. And there's no cleric here. So let's go for it. Alright, time to hunt some dragons. And I'm going to go to strong until I damage the front line enough to focus on them instead of dragon. Didn't take terribly long with a storm. So I should be able to kill one of them this fight, I think. Well, actually, maybe not because it took so long to get to Ice Storm. Might, yeah, I don't think he was going to quite kill him. And these guys, I do kind of want to rush to level 16 because they'll get more attacks, more stats, and there's really. Even, I mean, even the Nixie, she's in her final form, so I can't ruin their charisma at all. Or their alignment, so they can't, uh, go up into the next class form. I gotta be a little careful here. But they look like they're headed the other direction. And if I'm not careful, we'll be fighting on the cliffs. Can't be good for, uh, mermaid, but it doesn't really matter for the rest of the unit. Come on. All you gotta do is go just waddle a little bit faster. Or not. Alright, so we got the black armor on the vampire, which gives like 18 strength or something. Should be pretty much unable to damage him, I would think. Okay, I say that and then just gets obliterated by the overpowered dragoner. But it's alright, because I've got some overpowered guys in the back here. Although I do have to suffer through three of those hits since I didn't back off and wait for night. Which means pretty much probably done for another day. I don't know, maybe he'll be able to recover and come back out in time, we'll see. Alright, some more haunting to be done. And I don't remember what these guys are on, so let's start off with Strong. Definitely not going to do a ton of damage with Nightmare to this unit. Okay, looks like they're on weak. I guess actually I should go back to Strong for the Mage's attack and then go back to weak afterwards to optimize just a little bit. And then it didn't matter that I uh, forgot I really should have, except that I, dang it. I don't want to kill the leader, so I'm going to go back to strong. Well, how's that for ineffective switching? Well, take no damage, though. It's hard to argue with that result. And I'm going to keep moving this way because I want to take out this dragoner. And since she's not a Dragon Master, she has no hope of damaging me. I 
and one of my ghosts is level 15, so... I think it's... no, it's 16. Should be a little bit more, although probably... That would be a lot of kills of uh, these guys, because... They're level 12, 13-ish. I don't remember if there's a cleric in the Eagle Man unit. I think... I think there might be an angel, actually, but I'll have to check that out. But this certainly is not going to be one of the fastest fights. Even with the uh, holy and ice swords equipped, it's just going to take forever to kill them. Just, they have such high agility that skeletons are going to miss. And I missed that chance to go to weak. Uh, one more fight, probably. Okay. Not necessarily the ideal unit to fight them with, but I can. Although, really, I should probably get this unit involved. I should be able to wipe them out easily enough. If I can hit them anyway. And a good miss on Firewall for the leader, although I guess it doesn't really matter that much. I don't know, it makes it easier for me to go two fights against the next unit, perhaps. swap out that dead guy and put uh, someone else in his place in a second here. Youch. Alright, a little bit of a break there. At least I'll be, should be able to do some black damage. Uh, to them. And some fire damage. Um... Yeah, what, what am I thinking? Of course they get to go again. Oh. Uh, well, I guess I don't really need much XP for the Dragoner. But that was still ridiculously silly. Especially since not to take a mountain unit all the way back to base. Which is highly, highly unfortunate. Alright, let's see what units uh, I can sub in for the dead mews. And you can see she only had a little bit more, like 18 more ends than the, the Lich who's level 10, I think? 10 versus 15, so I don't know, I guess it's not that bad. It's a little over 3 ends per level. Oh, look at that. We got another muse. And a Valkyrie who has even less ends. So I don't know, maybe. Shouldn't be complaining too much about the ends. And she did get a penalty uh, for the leader, so. It's not that bad. I guess I could deploy the Weir Tiger and the Weir Wolf, but. Eh. Inferno did that much damage to her. So, I wasn't counting because I didn't expect to have any possibility of her dying. So, better leave earlier rather than later, I guess. 
And now... I feel kind of stupid for messing up the other fight because I've got nobody there. Um, and I probably should have waited on that guy fighting. So he can come across, he's just going to be really slow. I guess... I don't know. She's gonna... Uh, she can go around at least. And around is maybe all we need. And she's just moving into the water here so we can avoid getting tagged and getting someone else killed. And now I'm moving back to base. And I suppose Canopus is kind of silly, useless over here. We just haven't had anybody to go after except for the guy you couldn't catch. Alright, hopefully I can finish them off this fight so I don't bounce them back into the undead unit with the almost dead leader. And they'll probably go first, actually. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, she should be good. Even without the healing, she'll have enough HP. One more. Actually, you still one more. Yeah, well, and I figured there'd be some misses because they, they just have such high agility. But, uh. Well, that's no good. Well, at least they won so they don't get knocked back into my mostly defenseless unit. So, I can just repeat that. It'd kind of be a waste to fight them with that unit, I think. Oh crap. I don't even think I can get away. And the question is, is it worth using a boot? I don't know. I can always just replace her with someone else. I don't think it's really worth using the boot, especially because it's kind of awkward for that unit to have movement of shallows. So, I don't think I'll replace her. And, barely got out of the way, so I don't have to. Yeah, let's see if we can avoid this unit involved too. Still no one else coming. This can't be the last unit, can it? I guess it always could. Alright. I think I should be- oh, except to have the guy back in front, of course. Yeah, well... Canopus can take care of him, I guess. Alright, so now I definitely need the heal to stay alive. trade hits from here on out. And I might actually even be able to kill him if I don't miss. Oh well. Well, the high end pays off with three, uh, three miss. I just, I think it's end. I always forget if that's end or jelly based. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can just take him out. I have this bad feeling about this, though. I don't know how I'm going to avoid that. Alright, let's go, Canopus! Get there in the nick of time-ish, maybe. Alright. Eventually, gotta get the last griffin up to Cockatrice. Alright, I guess it's time to be somewhat aggressive with Canopus and see if there's anybody out there, or if it's time to storm the castle. Let's see, so this one... So you heal, and then the other one is already going back to base. Stop them. The 
this unit. I've already put something else in. It just seems kind of early for there to be no more enemies, but... Ah, yeah, here we go. All moving right on top of each other. It's kind of annoying. Hindsight, it probably would have been better to take one of the cities on that side. They just seem to be setting so many guys up top and hardly anybody around the bottom here. Now you get some vampire fights in, perhaps. Is this unit even moving? No, I guess not. Pull them back to heal. And did they... Do they really fall back? What are they doing? Oh, it's starting to annoy me. Oh, you're playing games. No, I was just going faster with them, I guess. Alright, they got a whole wave here. So, nobody for the undead to fight. Which is fine, since I pulled them back anyway. Alright, so I don't really want them to get to the, to the town, so I want to be able to fight them in front of the town, so it's hard for them to get healing. So I'm going to go ahead and pull people all the way around in front. So that's definitely extended fights longer than I wanted to previously. And then I probably want to rain Kanapas in a little bit here, so I want him to clean up fleeing guys, not necessarily just take a head on into the enemy. And yeah, let's just pull them right over into the middle of the fray. against any of those. Let's do it! Alright, so I'm not sure which unit I'm gonna fight. If I put the Death Cape on, it gives me a bunch of Defense vs. Black, uh, which is really good for this fight. And I guess I could have put it on Weak. Um, so that's a really good charm, since I already went. And maybe, maybe I will put it on me to kind of, well, would have guaranteed a kill of the witch if she had not missed. Uh, I guess at this point I don't really want to kill the witch. So definitely on strong. I'm not going to do much damage with life suck for the vampire, but I don't have to because his ridiculous base black defense and plus 19 from the, the death cape, so... Right, what I should do is put him on weak. And I was too late. Kill the mage. But... Did a good job of not taking much damage. And I guess I probably should have switched to uh, golden mail for this fight. To get nine, plus 19 uh, physical defense. But he's not gonna get that many physical attacks on him, and he can heal himself, so it looks like it won't be much of an issue. Those Nixies are really kicking butt. And again! And of course, they're full health this time, so it's gonna be a little harder. But I still think I'll go first. So I'll go ahead and put it on weak. Youch! Okay, I definitely should have put the black armor back on him. Um, I guess he still gets to go, so yeah, I'm gonna well kill one of them. And then I'll get two physical based attacks. And I should probably go back to weak to kill off the other shaman. I don't really want to kill the leader. Although I wasn't really in any danger of doing 
do 75 damage to him, I don't think. Okay, that worked out quite nicely. And... I don't really care if this unit gets overleveled, because they're already at max uh, class tier, so their charisma and alignment just doesn't matter. You gotta be a little careful here, though. I probably should have gone... Something that can defend more against white, but I guess they're on. I don't know what they're on. They're not strong. They're maybe on best or something. And the angels are not going to get ahead of him anyway, so. Doesn't matter too much. And I should probably go on meat to try to kill off. Wow, that's a lot of. That cockatrice might be a little bit stronger against poison. And I guess I should actually run away to avoid. Cockatrice dying. Now let's try again. Although, probably I should have tried to get a life suck in, but... Oh well! Got a bunch of fights in a row there, so... Pretty happy with that. And I might have these units pull up just a little bit to make sure that my vampire doesn't get caught. And not really an ideal fight for that unit. We really want them to get some my full strength, so I'll pull them back a little bit and see if Warren can get up there. Right, I really don't want the red dragon to get a kill because it'll raise his alignment more. So I went ahead and put him uh or gave him a black sword that should do pretty much no damage, while I gave white swords to both the melee characters. He still did do some damage. I guess I should have feared that... Oh, it works out. He definitely was going to go last, so I, I sh but they could have missed uh, either of the demons there. This unit does entirely physical damage, so I went ahead and went with all shields and armors. Just because I don't, I don't have to do that much damage, I just have to not get obliterated so that I can fight again. I so would like to do a little bit of damage. Yeah, well, it took a little bit more damage than I thought I would. That Dullmaster really obliterated me with all the shields on anyway. So this is all black damage. Um, I should actually be able to deal with that pretty well. Warren. Go ahead and bring the pumpkins up to deal with the next unit. And then have this guy finish them, I think, while Warren goes back to heal. Alright, I went ahead and re equipped and put um, plus, plus black things up front since that's what the werewolves do. Although, I guess it really. <laughs> it doesn't matter if Warren just does that. Alright, let's go heal him up and let somebody else kill the ninjas off. And then again, I'm going to send Kanapas out to see if there's anybody left. And then I suppose theoretically you put some in a good position to kill off stragglers if there are any, but I don't I don't think there will be a lot of stragglers. Aha! At least one person left. Two. physical uh, armor up front, so, wow, <clears throat> I'm a little surprised they did that much damage to him, but I guess it could be a lot worse, because those are beast masters, so they have much, much better stats, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, stats than my guys, and that really worked out for me in terms of targeting, getting the banish on the monk, or the Shaman could have been a whole bunch of damage if they focused on one of the Halloweens. So having the reduced physical damage up front is probably what led to that. Uh, I think that these guys can finish that off. Just 
so we'll send these guys back for healing. Give them a little bit more. So we got... So I think these guys they have healers, yeah. So, no undead for them. Well, I guess uh, we'll just finish them off with this unit. levels might be better in the long run, but I actually want to have those two mages with low agility so that I can count on the pumpkins going first most of the time. So I probably, I'll probably keep those two mages in, but any other mages I don't have uh, the right items for to turn them delicious, I'll probably defer leveling them up until I get the right items. Uh, let's not get her too far ahead of the rest of the units, I think. Just pull her back to there. I think the other... There we go. They should be healed up now, so pull them over. Although I guess I really didn't need to pull that that far because... Uh, they just don't crawl across the desert very fast. I think Shallows works all that well with Desert. That's another thing I should do. Um, let's just send these guys back, I think. Although, eh, I don't know, it's kind of late at this point. It's fine. I don't need the Undead to fight right now. I can use them against the boss, I guess. Won't really be that effective. I think the boss is all ninja masters or something. Okay, we got somebody coming for Canopus, I guess. So let's just pull him back. I think that's the unit that has somebody up dead. Yeah, it's a shame that was actually one of my Dragon Masters who could use a little bit of experience, but the rest of them are all pretty good. Um, I think, no, actually, I'll be better off with Lightning than Black against the uh, end boss here. I'd be even better with Cole, but I think I actually have used all of the Nixies already, so... No opportunity there. No one more unit. Okay... So why don't we... Pull them back to here. Can I have these guys... Not quite healed. It's daytime. Pull them forward again. Not quite healed. Alright, they're flying, so I don't really want to kill the leader here. Um, and I don't know that I actually can kill the leader here. Um, maybe I'll go for one of the shamans. I think I'll get to go first, but if not, yep, looks like it. And almost did it. If I'd just gone a little bit more offensive with items, I guess, because I, I put uh, the white cape and the black cape on instead of going for pure ends. But, oh well. Certainly damage them some. Yeah, almost to cockatrice. Um, 
Let's just leave them there for the moment. I don't know that anybody else can catch them, but... Oh, they are gonna go through again. Right. I think this unit's on leader, so I put the, the death cape on my leader, which is plus, plus black and plus fizz, which will defend me against everything except for... the inferno. And it's unfortunate timing. We definitely are after her. But... Just got one ice storm off. Yeah, we're gonna have to run away. It's too much focus damage on one. Really unfortunate I didn't get both ice storms off, because that was gonna be probably the bulk of the damage. Let's see if we can just kinda escape this way a tiny bit. Pull down this unit, perhaps to cut them off. And then just go right at this flying unit. They're definitely gonna go first. So. Alright, that's not too bad, really. Especially with the Lich and Amuse in back, I should be able to devastate their back row pretty good if I can hit them. Stays under 65. What I need to do is just go power level him. Uh, I think it, it didn't give him any alignment, it actually, it just stayed the same. Uh, I need to go heal him. Uh, Warren's coming up there, he should be able to deal with them, and I'll just send him straight ahead. Try to rescue some of these other units. Alright. Alright, get the Lich leader who should be able to tank uh, most of these attacks pretty well, I would think. Yep. I definitely should put it on leader. This charming Pocketress has pretty much no effect. 
went ahead and put the appropriate swords on, get the flame sword on the Eagleman. Can't hit him though. Uh, and the holy sword on. kind of screwed because nobody can catch him, but I guess it's a high sky unit, so at least that means he'll be back pretty soon, hopefully. Hopefully. That's what happens when you have, you know, 60 and everybody else has like 100, or 120, or 130, or 170. Alright, let's leave it at that, let the other unit clean them up, and go get someone who's not critically weak to patch them. Dragon another level here. Put the snow orb on the dragoner to just try to prevent her from dying. And that seemed to work extremely well. Youch. Alright, well. Won't take any more damage and prevent the red dragon from killing her. Although actually the red dragon killing uh, a high alignment creature might have lowered his alignment, maybe. We'll see. Is that 62? So we could still do that again. They'll probably hightail it, I would think. Yeah, it did lower his alignment, alright. So let's go ahead and do that again. And, I don't know, I might be able to actually catch them. Just gotta be careful because there's someone else coming. And these guys might as well go heal too, and surely, surely someone here has healed up. Nope. Yes. Except that I can't fight them because they have a healer. Uh. Alright. Let's pull them down there. And they're going for the town, of course. I probably should have predicted that. But I think I'll catch them. Is there shallow. Yep, looks like it. Interesting. A uh, giant golem? Oh no, dragon. That's right, I did fight one of these earlier. Might as well kill it. I don't need a level 14 dragon that has base stats. And I can always use a little bit of XP and then of course the uh, 10% chance or whatever it is for an item. Uh, I think they're gonna catch him. Yep, here we go. And we're 
working on lowering Ash's alignment too. Because so I want to get him down to, I think, 35 to get him eligible for Ninja Master. Which might be a bit of work to do, but if I can find the right level of neutral guy, I think I can do it. Okay, let's try to head into them. And then we finally have some people going low, huh? I don't know what changed their idea. Maybe maybe I went high so they went low and they're just trying to sneak by me. Um, how much? Eh, we can, probably by the time they get closer we can send them with those guys. And I should also be able to send... Oh, they actually really need to heal. Dragon messed them up. bad off are they? They're actually kind of bad off. Alright, a few uh, anti-white items up front and anti-cold items in back later. Here we are. Youch! It's a lot of damage for Ice Storm. But then they are pretty freaking awesome. And we are in the water. Youch! Okay, well at least I got the better anti-white item. Oh, uh, that's a horrible mess. Um... So I guess they don't have any more colds. No, I got it. I should have realized that they would hit one of those guys twice, so... That is not a very good showing, but then... They have a bunch of damage that does not map well to that unit. Um... Yeah, I don't know about this. I guess if I put the anti-cold items on. Uh, or they can just kind of sit there. Uh, just keep running away, I guess. And I didn't kill the shaman, so I can't send the undead. Almost. This is perfect for the undead unit. So that's, yeah, it's here. Okay, so let's send the undead up here. And then we can also deal with them with undead and them with undead. So I can just leave the undead unit up there and at least damage a bunch of those units. If they can get there in time anyway. Because they're shallows, which I always forget, which is a horrible idea to make them shallows. Um... So, who else would I want to fight that unit, since it looks like someone else is going to have to... Sure... Alright, so no self-healing vampire, but I did give him the golden mail, which should mean he'll take not very much damage. I wouldn't say zero, but they have some pretty high strength on some of these guys, so definitely will not be zero. But it is kind of unfortunate because it means he won't be able to heal himself, uh, and just might as well just run away as soon as they damage me enough, I guess, because I got one time to attack across the whole back row, which did, you know, some pretty good weakening damage, but... Then I'll have to heal because all the damage went to one person. Although I suppose... No, it is almost night. It's not really the best timing. Uh, but that should give me enough of a breather to get the undead out in front of everybody, I think. Guess we'll see. And try to take them into the rear of the town. Alright, now I gotta replace... 
guy. Who actually I feel kind of bad because he leveled up enough. Okay, actually turn him into an evil one. Although I think I probably want to turn him into a ninja because he needs he needs some ent. Oops. But I can do that later. So Eagleman is weak to fire. This just weak weak to lightning. I forget which witches are late but weak to. Probably probably white, certainly. Uh, Raven Man will also be weak to lightning. A demon will also be weak to lightning. We have a bunch of ninjas that we're not using. And we have the other wild man who has about the same stats. Sure. Just that worked so well last time. But <clears throat> actually, what I want to do is turn one of them into an evil one and the other into a ninja master and then compare how they do after 10 more levels. This guy's gonna get here in time. I may have to have an alternate plan again, but I guess we've got Canopus there. We should be the first one to hit. We'll see. Alright, we got uh, Nixies versus Nixies, and we're not gonna do a ton of damage to each other with cold, probably. Uh, I might go first. Maybe. I guess I did. Ouch. Okay, well that gets rid of most of their damage. I just have to heal the Raven Man. I think I'll be okay here. Although really, I would have been better off killing the clerics, I think, and shamans. Oh well. I can always do that next time. Hopefully that will lower Lance's alignment a little bit. Uh, maybe by two or something. So let's see. There's Shallows. This is flying. I guess I will go ahead and chase them. I don't know if there are a lot more units or not, but I keep saying that and they keep appearing, so... Alright. This looks like it might be an issue. I don't think the issue really here is that Canopus has to fight these guys. It's going to be more if Canopus loses or when he needs to retreat because he took a ridiculous amount of damage, then who has to fight after that? But I think I actually have healed up a fair amount. So I'm going to try to hang in here. Maybe that was a mistake. Yeah, that was definitely a mistake. I should have run away as soon as possible. It's just a hit and run unit that can't take too much damage because there's only three of them. Especially with you got a targeted guy in the back, so that was pretty incredibly stupid. But I guess I can still probably. Yeah, we've got a bunch of people here, so someone, someone should be able to deal with that. Yeah, I mean he's mostly full, so full steam ahead. Alright, I went ahead and put the Euro Sword on the Golem, be a little aggressive here. Uh, because the Golem has pretty high base defense. Okay, that looks like it was a mistake. Well, well, we'll see. We'll see how much damage the rest of the guys do. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so then it's going to depend on, can I kill off? Okay. So, it might actually work out okay. Um, he's going to get a little bit low, but... I do have three heals, so I think it'll work out. But I won't. Well, okay, a little bit lucky there going before the golem, or before the dragon. 
this out. Probably would have been better served with a plus fizz or a plus fire. Or if, if eventually I get one, an item that does both. I definitely don't want to fight them. Just a Cerberus is might go first and just kill my goal. That should work out a little better for me. Right, I think these guys are on weak, but I went ahead and went with Death Cape on my leader, just in case. Yep, they're definitely on weak. I should be able to kill both of them, I think. So put the Holy Swords up front, which should do a ton of damage to them. And then... The black doesn't do all that much damage, but does enough. Although I'm a little surprised because my services have a ton of Ent. Maybe their black defense is just not that awesome. It looks like the dragon unit is running away. I might have to send somebody after them. Um, well, at least they don't have good ant because uh, that's well. It really won't make that much difference, honestly. I mean, I would have liked to do done all that white earth damage to them, but yeah, it just doesn't do much to me. And then we still have the. Mage to go. Alright, not too bad, really. And I probably could have done that a little bit differently and taken out uh, the mage somehow. I don't know. Still did a ton of damage. I probably have to send a flying unit out to overtake the Dragoner. I doubt my shallow unit will be able to crawl over the mountain particularly effectively. Let's see... This unit that has Ash, I want to lower his line a bit, it's just not ready. Send them out. If I give the vampire defensive item, he'll survive. And we got more units up here. So I gotta send somebody over there. I don't think I can do enough damage to kill. Yeah, well, especially if I miss, I'm not gonna kill her in one hit. But I should be able to take her out with the front line. And I'll do it on strong. I want Lance to kill her. I uh, no, don't think that. Well, maybe. Yeah, it did. I think he was at. Ash was at 69. He was at like 75 or something. Alright, so. That might be a problem. Sending the vampires. Kill them up a little more and then send them after that unit. Alright, cut the dragons after all. And I should check to see what level these guys are. I think they might be getting close to turning one of the, the ghosts into a phantom.
shit, miss. And probably going to die. I guess I could. Maybe slightly uh, overkill there, but I don't really have time to replace her this stage. find some more turn cards. <laughs> 